What is going on, everybody? We are back on NASCAR Heat Evolution. Yeah, that, that's right. We're doing a championship playoff, or the chase, I guess we should call it. Uh, and we are going to be driving as I haven't decided yet, but you can see 10 races with Chicago, New Hampshire, Dover, Charlotte. I don't even think this is the road course now that I think about it. Yeah, it's the Oval. Kansas, Talladega, Martinsville, Texas, Phoenix, and Homestead, Miami to round off the season. So a little 10 episode series series that we're going to kick off here on the best NASCAR game in history. We're going to be Danica Patrick. Look at this. We even have the chase grid. Oh yeah, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. And I think we're not going to do 25% races. I think we're going to do like the option below that, which is, yeah, I think 13%. Denny Hamlin at Chicagoland, but I don't see Denny Hamlin anywhere in this picture. Danica Patrick is the only female driver to compete at Chicagoland Speedway in the Cup Series with Denny Hamlin as the picture. All right, all right, we are kicking things off here. I'm ready to qualify in this number 10 machine, Nature's Bakery Chevrolet, and oh, this is group qualifying. How do I turn my mirror on again? I played this a few days ago. Okay, it's the Y button. There we go. I'm on Xbox One, by the way, for this, and yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't know. I can't remember how they really race around here, but hopefully we can get Danica Patrick a, a championship here in the chase for the Cup. Out of turn four, I'm only running one lap. Whatever happens, happens. So we're gonna cross the line and take this right here. P40. All right, 40th place, baby. And I can't, I can't even see like where, who, like around me, put in what time. All right, we're going green. I don't even know how many laps this thing is now as we are underway. And that 38 car did not get going. So we're going to gain a few spots already. That's Landon Castle. And it's 35 laps. I'm running 3x field, so we have 20 laps. I decided not to do uh, 4x because I think it'd be too many pit stops. So 3x is what I went with. And I think that's going to be just fine. Uh, that's even if we get a green flag pit stop because you're not going to get a green flag pit stop driving like that right there. So not a good start right off the... Are we crashing here in turn three? No, they saved it. I saw so much smoke. I stomped on the brakes because, goodness gracious, I forgot how bad the smoke was in this game. Like, you get a little bit sideways, and it looks like, you know, a bomb went off in, in turn three or something like that. Now, so I'm going to try and sneak up the inside here uh, of Tyler Reddick and, and make some moves and gain our first legitimate positions of the day, passing the 34 of Chris. The handling is so twitchy, and the car is so pinball-y if you touch anybody so i'm trying my best to make sure i don't touch a single car around us because we will catapult in the complete opposite direction as we nearly die right there with ryan ellis whoa 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 why is the 32 so slow oh this is not gonna go very well for me is it oh my god we got clear three wide in the middle is one of the most difficult things in nascar heat evolution to actually pull off because of well obvious reasons Nice move up the inside here. Now we should be able to get clear of the 6-0. Oh, we're going to be three wide in the middle again. I don't want to be doing this here. Gentlemen now passing Greg Biffle. And wow, we made it work twice. I'm actually that good. Why are you running such a shallow line into turn one, Greg? And absolutely just messing up my corner entry. We still make it work. Nice little pass right there on Larson. Here we go. Here we go. We got some speed. Man to Benedetto in the 90 uh, or 83 for what BK Racing, if you guys remember, BK Race, we're dead, absolutely dead, cars destroyed, bring it to the pits, goodness me, what just happened there, boys, I don't think the field is, uh, most of them, like, they all stayed out here, so we pitted, we had to, uh, but we look at the field, we got 25 laps to go, okay, we got 20 laps of field here, so we still cannot make it, to the end of this race. I don't even know if we're going to get a green flag pit stop because of the way the uh, game plays, the cars, the way they drive. They're so difficult here to, to race around other people in this game. I'm going to throw a massive block on Greg Biffle and that nearly shot me. 45 degrees into the outside wall here now is a little bit of contact with, with Bobby Labonte and we just got to be careful. We got to be patient. I think that's the big thing with this game is patience. If you can be patient, you can work your way forward and have a chance to win the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Championship as I nearly die right there off the apron. Okay, we got to calm it down a little bit now as I don't want Greg Biffle, however, getting to my inside. I think it's going to happen because I'm on the outside of Jimmy Johnson. I swear I'm not trying to turn left into him, but I'd keep on doing it. Oh, this is risky. Oh, it's working though. We're three wide on the outside. I'm backing out of this. 
Oh my god, Kyle Bush, why? Are you kidding me right now, bro? Oh my god, look at that wreck avoidance. Everybody, no way, hold on, not everybody's pitting here, and we might be able to have enough fuel after this. Alrighty, okay, what is happening here? I have no idea, but someone's coming into the pits. I think it's Ryan Ellis, and I have not seen that happen before. But we're back underway. We got 20 laps to go now. We got 20 laps of feel, and suddenly this has worked in our favor as I'm just uh, absolutely despising the pinball effect of this game. I mean, Kyle Busch just... I mean, can, can we talk about Kyle Busch clips me in the left rear quarter panel and shoots me 45 degrees the other direction when that happens? That is not not how stock cars behave. However, how they do behave is very good when I'm behind the wheel, and we're going to prove that right here because I'm about to slice and dice through the field and win this race. We're going to be four wide right here. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. That, that lap car is coming out of the pits. I hope that does not cause any issues here. Looks like they're going to be just fine into turn three. I don't want to make it three wide or four wide. We have our teammate of Harvick and Tony Stewart as well up there. And then Kurt Busch is nowhere to be found. Maybe he's up towards the front somewhere. But we are we are gaining some spots now. And are now legitimizing ourselves as an, act, an actual threat to win this race. Three wide into turn one. And I'm starting to think about it. If we, if we don't get a caution, uh, we might actually be able to just cruise to a victory. Oh, there's Palminard in the 27 there. Who drove the 21 then in, in this year? Oh, wait. It would have been Ryan Blaney, wouldn't it? The leader's pitting. There goes somebody. I think it's Carl Edwards. Yeah, it is Carl Edwards. So they are all pitting because, well, about 20 laps of field and with the caution. So about lap 21, 22, 23, they're all going to be coming in. And we might be able to put them a lap down. And, well, if the AI, if they don't have a crash, we might actually be able to cruise to the win. Oh, yeah, we got, we got quite a few cars pitting here. I'm going to just stay out of the way in turn three and... And let them sort out their mis this stuff. Oh my god, Jimmy Johnson's around. I just avoided it. Please, no caution. Please, no caution. Keep it green. Yes, they keep it green. I nearly died because, well, Jimmy Johnson was stopped. Literally in front. Almarola, you are walking a fine line right now. Everybody else is coming in here. I don't anticipate any accidents on this one. It looks like they're fine. Jimmy Johnson obviously takes a hit. And who's in front of us? Kevin Harvick, I think he pitted on the first caution, so he can probably go a little bit further. We have run down Kevin Harvick. We are absolutely flying here in this Nature's Bakery Chevrolet Camaro, approaching just 10 laps to go, and now we have a chance to go to the lead of this race. We're going to look to the inside of the number four. Not going to happen quite there. Here we go. This is our opportunity right here to pass Harvick. Oh, he's going to throw a bit of a block on us. Okay, I see. Oh, and there it is. The caution is going to fly. Everybody's going to pit. So we're going to come in and look at everybody trapped a lap down. Carl Edwards is going to get the lucky dog. Uh, but Jimmy Johnson on back will all be trapped a lap down. We are waiting to advance. Oh, there we go. Why did I lose five positions? Did they take two tires? Harvick lost the lead. Someone else stayed. Oh, I don't think they stayed out. They pitted, but they did something different. I can't tell who is leading. Is that Michael McDowell and David Reagan on the front row? I think it is. Behind us, we got Jimmy Johnson. He is not on the lead lap, however, so no concerns there. Just six laps to go. I mean, if we play our cards right, we can win this race. We got to be aggressive, but we don't got to be stupid aggressive. Okay, this is not going how I was expecting it to. Oh, no. Get clear. Thank goodness we got clear of the number seven of Regan Smith into turn three. And, oh, this thing's all over the place. We are actually choking. I need to get down to the inside, but I don't got the opportunity. Kurt Busch is absolutely demolished right now. Look at the... Look at the 41 car. That thing's destroyed. Michael McDowell, I think, is still leading this race. Here we go. A chance to get to the inside. I'm going to take it. There we go. And now uh, we are really going to be able to open the floodgates to go for this race victory, I hope. Kyle Busch is all over the back of the 95. Kyle Busch gets clear from the 95. I think it's game over. And he is so close to doing that. 23 slows up in the middle of the straightaway. That's the spot for us with four laps. Coming to the inside of Jimmy Johnson. He's P20. Why is he 20? That makes zero sense. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what was that? What was that? I just saw a puff of smoke. Is someone about to blow a tire or something here in turn three? I don't know. It looks like we're fine. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Caution. That was a really quick caution. That was the biggest save of my NASCAR Heat Evolution career. It's not going to get any better than that. So it's going to be overtime, and it appears that a bunch of cars actually took 
the wave around, which is why Jimmy Johnson's 20th. He actually did not take the wave around, so we're back on the way, and we could actually finish as low as about 20th place because Johnson just got the lucky dog, but we got two laps to go. Kyle was out front. We're going to have a... What the crap? Oh my god, I'm so loose. Oh my god, the rear bumper's red, and it's it's certainly showing. Everything's going wrong here all of a sudden on the exit of the corner. We're going to try and hang in there. And there's so many cars around us that are damaged right now. And this thing's loose on a straightaway. Oh, yeah, we're just trying to hang on and get this thing to the finish here. Now, there we go. It's a little more stable all of a sudden. It's, it's more stable in the corner than it is on the straightaway. Dale Jr. is not going to... Give me the opportunity to get to the inside. One lap to go, and our chances of winning have obviously come to an end, unfortunately. However, as we come through one and two, can I try and steal a spot down this back straightaway? Make it three wide. Oh my god, this thing, it's trying to wreck every little turn I make in the car. It is terrible. We're just trying to survive. Maybe I can get to the inside of Ryan Newman Pass. So I'm going to use him right up, actually. You know what? There we go. There we go. Gain one spot, might lose one spot as well in the process. Here comes Kurt Busch. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. That actually just happened, and we're just going to cross the line, and we're dead. P18 to finish the first race of the chase in Chicago. Who even won this race? Because eight laps down. Kyle Busch did, in fact, win the race. And we come out of this somehow... 11 points above the cut line. Why is Clint Boyer in the chase? I didn't even notice. Why is he here? So that wraps it up for our first episode here uh, in the NASCAR Heat Evolution uh, 10 race series for the chase. Next up's New Hampshire. Then we have Dover. That, that is two dangerous tracks that I'm very concerned about. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the next one. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Thank you all for taking the time of your day for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody. Let's <laughs> go.